Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is the Mr. Olympia, of course. But the video that you need to watch that I made a while ago, uh, I'll leave it in the caption below, a link to it. But it's basically when I said the Mr. Olympia is rigged. On that video, I told you all there was no reason for Sean Roden not to have beaten Phil Heath by now. And now you see that I was right. But I'll get right back with you as soon as I finish putting up these groceries. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies but I do have kids and I'm still on my diet and they're not on the diet they do what they want to do as far as the way they eat get down to this uh, Mr. Olympia thing right quick. They got somewhere to go. But, we're going to start with the top seven. Because the rest of them, they, they're at the back of the field anyway. So we're going to talk about the top seven. And we're looking at seventh place. We're looking at, and the reason I'm talking about the top seven rather than the top six or the top five is basically because Dexter Jackson have slipped out of the top five all the way down to the seventh place position. And basically what ended up happening to Dexter is that that crispness, that crispness that he normally have, he didn't have it this time. Uh, he, was, he was lacking the details that he normally have, which would allow him to be able to compete against bigger bodybuilders. And that's pretty much... I mean, he can't, he can't afford not to be chiseled because he only has so much size and his conditioning is what kept him in the top five for all these years. And his conditioning was good, but it was not as good as it has been in the past. And that, was, that is what caused him to slip. Okay, uh, in uh, sixth place position, you got Big Raymond. And Big Raymond fell all the way from the number two position. And uh, I say it was it justified because the guy is still doing what I always say he do. He messed up on his diet. The guy is always trying to come in bigger and bigger. And you will never see a 300-pound uh, Mr. Olympia, I mean, totally ripped. You'll see one probably in good condition, like Ramey is. I mean, he in good condition, but he was not in great condition. He have no details. And for a human to be able to carry that much weight, I don't care how much drugs you own. I don't see uh, bodybuilders getting beyond 300 pounds, you know, and, and uh, be totally ripped. Unless they are like 6'4", something like that, unless they're real tall. And they're able to fill a frame up. But more than likely, the details probably won't be there like they should be. Uh, or like the requirements are for the Mr. Olympia. But Big Raymond, like I said, he messed up like he always do. Uh, what shocked me was Brandon Curry. Uh, and, well, yeah, I know. Because Brandon Curry... It's like I said, he made a lot of progress as far as the way his body is being uh, balanced out now. He was kind of lopsided with his lower body being uh, way behind his upper body. 
but it's kind of looking like the guy is got a real good balance on his body now. But he doesn't have those minute details that he needs. And the only reason that uh, he's sitting in the number five spot, like I said, because uh, Big Raymond screwed up on his conditioning. Uh, Dexter Jackson conditioning wasn't that good. And that's all he needs to move in because by him having a more balanced physique, he's more competitive now. So we're going to move on down to uh, fourth place is... Uh, William Bonap, and I would say his thing was also, he had the condition, but it's not the condition that he normally comes in with, and that right there opened the door for the number three spot, Roy Winkler, and like I said, this guy, Roy is normally like Big Raymond. So far, look like Rawley didn't got a handle on his diet and his preparation when it comes down to the Mr. Olympian. Uh, look like he's not fooling around lately. So he's coming in better and better condition every time he comes in. And the thing about it is, he's beginning to see that he has more size than he needs. Like Big Raymond need to realize, they got all the size. Detailing them bodies out is what they need to do the most. Details. And that's what's going to win you to Mr. Olympia. Now, we're going to get to the number two spot, which is uh, pretty justified. You know, some people saying that uh, Roley should have beaten um, Phil Heath for the number two spot, but... Uh, no matter what kind of condition Roy to come in, he don't have that balanced physique that Phil Heath has. Even if, and, and, and at the same time, Phil Heath, like I said, his conditioning was not like it should have been. But even with that, Roy would never be able to beat that guy because his physique is basically too balanced. And... Even coming in off condition, he still got Roley B because he has such a balanced physique. Now, you're looking at the new Mr. Olympia, Sean Roden, which I said, I told you all that the guy should have been beat Phil Heath. Sean Roden came in in the best condition. And I think when he had this also problem with the uh, Arnold Classic, I think he had a package similar because he was so desperate to compete in that show. And all he did was bring that same package to the Olympia. And it's like I said, this guy is pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe with Phil Heath because they're around about the same size. They, they got that same size. Phil is a little bit more fuller than he is, but Sean Roden is able to get more chisel. He has a more chisel physique than Phil Heath can accomplish because I don't think Phil Heath can even I don't think Phil Heath can get in that kind of condition that uh, Sean Roden came in with this 2018 Mr. Olympia. Uh, I mean, Sean Roden brought it. Sean Roden brought it this time. He he really brought it. The guy came in in immaculate condition. Uh, Phil Heath uh, knockout punch was pretty much. A, uh, his, 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 his back. And he still has Sean Roden beating in the back, but you got a lot of other poses that they are pretty much balanced with. And that's all it takes. Being balanced with him with a lot of other poses and being able to chisel yourself out better than him, that's what won Sean Roden the Mr. Olympia title. And what I want you all to, to look at now Arnold Schwarzenegger basically helped bring on this change when he started complaining about the bubble guts. And another video that I made about the Arnold Classic versus the Mr. Olympia. Because the Arnold Classic was producing Mr. Olympia quality uh, bodybuilders because of the, the strictness 
of that waste thing. And the IFBB, being the business, paid attention to that. Because basically the Arnold Classic was starting to overshadow the Mr. Olympia because they was pushing so hard for size. And they was letting go the quality uh, V-shaped um, uh, bodies. The Mr. Olympia was letting that go. When the Arnold Classic was sticking to their guns and rewarding the ones who had those small tapered waist and having their midsection tight. That's the reason Ray Rowley uh, looked the way he looked because of the Arnold Classic. Because of the requirements that they had over there. And he brought that same thing to the Olympia. So the Olympia realized that, hey, we are not getting as much um, interest now because of the Arnold Classic. The, he's starting to overshadow us over here. So now we have seen what Frank Zane did back in the 70s. Bodybuilding has moved from the mass monsters back into aesthetics. This is something I've never seen happen because, you know, as I grew up, it was pretty much, you know, side, side, side. Now you have actually witnessed a change in the Mr. Olympia from size to more aesthetics. And now we're going to end up seeing some of the best bodybuilders that we've ever seen. More chisel, more detail. Some of the best in the world are going to come out to Mr. Olympia now. Because people now are going to look forward to the Mr. Olympia because we really can't say who's going to win now. Because as long as, it, as long as they are putting stipulations on the waistline, and making them come in with those V tapers. They're not going to be as big. Because they're not going to be able to hold that kind of weight. Like Big Ramy can't hold that kind of weight. And come in in condition. Um, Roland Winkler. Even though he's tremendously big like Ramy. He's noticed that he can't come in super big like that. Without having those details. So now we're going to see more normal looking physiques in the Mr. Olympia, if they want to be competitive with the Arnold Classic. If they want to be competitive. Now, mark my word on it. If Cedric McMillan ever gets his conditioning right, there would be another guy that would dominate even Sean Rowe and he would dominate um, Phil Heath because of the way his body looks. This guy have that look. He have that body. And the only thing that's stopping him, he's not able to come in with those details like he needs to. But the door's open for him. The door's open for him to get himself together because aesthetics are what's being looked at now. Now, I know you all are talking about Brandon Curry, but if you look at Brandon Curry, he, do, he does have, like I said, better shape to his body. He has detail, but the guy still look like he's holding water in his body. He, he's pretty much in the same condition as uh, Big Raymond and, and Dexter. That's, because, that's why he's, he beat Dexter because he's bigger than Dexter. Even though he brought the, pretty much the same conditioning. And uh, Big Raymond is basically being punished for not coming in the way he came in last year. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.